Hello, and welcome to Healthy Nation. I'm Pat Murphy. When spring arrives, the birds are chirping, the flowers are blooming, and you're sneezing and wheezing. That's because along with the change in seasons often comes allergies. No matter what time of year it is, there may be certain things in your environment that cause your body to react simply because you're in contact with them. Here's Dr. Paul Knoffelmacher to explain what's happening to your body to cause these reactions. An allergy is a reaction your body has when it comes into contact with a specific substance. There are many different types of allergies and you can experience them in different ways, such as through touch, breathing, eating or drinking. More than 75% of allergies are what we call indoor and outdoor allergies. These allergies can occur throughout the year. We'll talk more about indoor and outdoor allergies a bit later. First, let's talk about what happens inside the body during all types of allergies. There are three factors involved in an allergic reaction. First, there's the allergen, or the substance that's causing the reaction. Second are the cells that release the chemicals related to the allergies, called mast cells. Mast cells can be mostly found inside your skin, airways, and intestines. Finally, there's your immunoglobulins, or IgE. This is a type of protein that covers your mast cells and is made by your immune system to resist foreign substances. When you have an allergic reaction, your immune system creates the IgE that is specifically associated with that particular allergen. This causes your mast cells to release chemicals like histamines and leukotrienes that ultimately cause some of the allergic symptoms you may feel, like itching, coughing, sneezing, and tightening of your airways. Now let's talk about outdoor allergies. These happen when you breathe in pollen particles from trees, plants, grass, or weeds. These allergens cause a swelling in the lining of your nose and the protective tissue around your eyes. This can lead to symptoms like sneezing, runny nose, congestion, headaches, nasal drip, sleeplessness, fatigue, itchy watery eyes, and hives. In some people, allergies can worsen their asthma as well. Prolonged cases may cause chronic congestion, changes in your sense of smell and taste, and swollen blue-colored skin underneath your eyes, also called allergic shiners. Outdoor allergies are also called seasonal because you'll experience these allergies in the spring, late summer, and fall when plant growth is at its height. But keep in mind, they can occur year-round in certain climates. Billions of these tiny allergens move through the air, so unfortunately they're impossible to completely avoid. Indoor allergies happen when allergens like dust, mold, or pet dander are inhaled or touched. Smoke, cockroaches, and rats can also cause indoor allergies. These type of allergens are also too tiny to detect by sight and can lead to many of the same symptoms as outdoor allergies. In general, these allergies will most likely develop during childhood, although they can begin at any age. Factors that increase your risk of developing indoor and outdoor allergies are a family history of allergies, exposure to cigarette smoke during the first year of life, gender, men are more at risk, being born during pollen season, being the firstborn, an early introduction to formula and solid food before four to six months, early use of antibiotics, and exposure to indoor and outdoor allergens. So how do you tell if you have any of these allergies? Your doctor will ask about your family's medical history, do an examination of your skin, face, and lungs, and then perform a skin, breathing, or blood test. All of these tests are virtually pain-free and can help you understand which allergens to avoid. We focused mostly on indoor and outdoor allergies in this segment, but there's a number of other types of allergies that you may experience, like food or drug allergies. So be sure to talk with your doctor if you have any questions about your own health condition.